Gabapentin might increase dementia risk. And four more stories I found this week. There's a new observational study linking gabapentin to a higher risk of dementia. It's not proof of causation, but the data shows that people taking gabapentin long-term had significantly more cases of cognitive decline. Gabapentin is prescribed for everything from nerve pain to sleep, and it raises important questions, especially for patients who have been on it for years. If you are one of those patients, this might be a conversation to start with your provider. No reason to panic, but definitely keep an eye on it. On a related no, researchers found that banking behavior might help detect early cognitive decline even before symptoms show up. Things like missed payments, unusual withdrawals, or money management changes could be early signs of memory and thinking issues. For caregivers, this is a powerful signal to watch for, especially when someone's behavior changes very slowly over time. In some light news, Barbie just released its first doll with type 1 diabetes. I absolutely love this. She comes with a glucose monitor, insulin pen, and a whole bunch of little visible accessories. And for kids living with with chronic conditions, this is the kind of representation that matters. It normalizes differences and shows them that they're not alone and fantastic to release it in Disability Pride Month. This next study is early stage, but fascinating. Scientists found hepatitis C in the brain linings of people diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. It doesn't prove the virus causes mental illness, but it adds to the growing research into how infections and inflammation might shape brain health and psychiatric symptoms. It could change how we think about root causes of mental illness. And finally, researchers have been sneaking secret messages into their papers in an effort to trick AI tools into giving them positive peer review reports. As more journals use automated systems to evaluate submissions, some scientists are raising valid questions about transparency bias and how those tools influence the publication process. This coming to light opens up an important conversation about how we balance innovation with integrity in science. If you found any of that interesting, follow for more. I post these every week. That's it for this week. See you next week.